presenting Wibowit Social Anxiety Skill. Here are the contents. Introduction It is developed by Michael Lidwin, a psychiatrist and a researcher. What is social anxiety? According to DSM-5, it is known as persistent fear of one or more social or performance situation in which the individual is exposed to unfamiliar people or to possible scrutiny by others. The individual fears that he or she will act in a way that will be embarrassing and humiliating. Social phobia is highly comorbid with other anxiety disorder, depression, and substance abuse, which increases the risk of these disorders significantly. This assessment was the first evaluation instrument developed to screen social anxiety disorder signs and symptoms, and it is currently still the most used worldwide. There are several versions available in other languages, as well as children and adults in version which are reliable and valid to use. The purpose of this assessment are to assess the range of social interaction and performance situations that individuals with social phobia may fear or avoid. It is also to measure the severity of social anxiety disorder symptoms and changes of the symptoms over the course of treatment. It is a screening instrument which helps practitioners whether the person need treatment or not. This assessment can be done by clinician administered and self-administered. And the assessment takes about 3 to 10 minutes. This assessment consists of 24 item skills, 11 items related to social interactions, and the rest to public performance. The indication for this assessment are social anxiety disorder, major depression disorder, and substance abuse disorder. The contraindications are client with poor insight and poor cognitive function. Administrative procedure. For each item, ask how anxious or fearful they feel in the situation. Then, ask how often they avoid the situation. If they come across a situation that the ordinary do not experience, we ask them to imagine what if they were faced with that situation. Bear in mind that it is in the past week. Both scoring for anxiety and avoidance are from 0 to 3. For anxiety, 0 indicates none, 1 indicates mild, 2 indicates moderate, and 3 indicates severe. As for avoidance, 0 indicates never, 1 indicates occasionally, 2 indicates often, 3 indicates usually. Sum up the score for each item for interpretation. Hi, I am Nadia. I am going to be occupational therapy for today. So in this session, we are going to do Lidboy Social Anxiety Skill. So in this assessment, we are going to know how anxious you are in a certain situation. At the same time, we would like to know how often do you avoid in that situation. Let's see, if some of the situation is unusual for you, you can just imagine you are in this situation. Okay, so for this assessment, it can be done by self-rating. So now you can read by yourself. But let me explain for the rating. Okay, so for the fear, the anxiety, it is rated 0 to 3, 0 for none, no anxiety at all, 1 for mild, 2 for moderate, and 3 for severe. As for the avoidance, 0 for never, 1 for occasionally, 2 for often, 3 for usually. So now you can read it. Okay. Interpretation cut off. Since this assessment comes in various versions, the interpretation for each version are different. The original version, 30 indicate social anxiety disorder and 60 indicate global social anxiety disorder. Here are other version interpretation as well as comorbid diseases. For psychomatic properties, we focus mainly on the original version. Reliability. Their internal consistency indicates excellent. For validity, the conversion validity indicates strong. 
discriminant validity also indicates strong. Advantages It has broad coverage for both performance and interaction-related anxiety. The total score is often used as an index of current impairment due to social phobia. The self-rated version can be utilized efficiently in pharmaceutical trial which often rely on repeated assessment. Disadvantages does not assess the cognitive or psychological aspect of social phobia. It's also not a comprehensive measure for symptomatic improvement during treatment. The two situational subskills, which are performance and interaction, have not been supported empirically. The interpretation cut off highly influenced by the culture, age, and comorbid diseases. From the previous info, we can conclude that Leibovitz social anxiety skill is not suitable in Malaysian population as it is culturally specific and may influence cut-off scoring for interpretation. Some people may experience the language barriers as it does not provide it in Malay version. Sometimes the meaning of a particular English word might change while finding a suitable substitute in translating the statement. Thank you for tuning in.